Hello guys, and welcome back to Dubai. Uh, today I'm at uh, Jumeria Mosque, uh, the one of only two mosques open to visitors in Dubai. You need to register uh, about 9.30 in the morning and then the tour starts at, uh, a guided tour starts at 10 a.m. And uh, this should be interesting, so this, I think you have to pay about 20 dirhams. That also includes MRT refreshments and uh, like a light breakfast. So I think this should be interesting and a little bit of understanding of how this culture works. And, and you know, you can ask a lot of questions. So I'm not sure if I'm allowed to film inside, but um, yeah, we'll see. So I just take a few shots from the outside from there. It's an awesome building. Inside here, uh, as entrance. Dates are very nice and sweet. Mm. It's like some kind of donut. Now we try some pancakes with cream cheese. Mm. Very nice. <coughs> it's got like a Swedish flavor and you got the cream cheese on it. And also, you can have some dates. I don't have to always do it. If I took a shower and went out of my house, then I don't need to do the evolution. And I heard the call for prayer, right? On the other hand, if I did use the toilet during my working hours, then yes, I have to clean myself, wash myself, then I'll be prepared to go and perform my uh, prayer, right? So
it's a quick place for people to make the evolution and go directly to the mosque. If you have a look behind you guys, we have the men's evolution over there. It says jets. The other side, same area, will be the women's evolution. So we have a bigger sector. That would be normally enough for about 15 to 20 people. It's a bigger sector. Okay? It's to move on uh, lots of groups, big groups. So I'm going to brief you guys out and then I'll physically do it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my hands up until the wrists three times. And then I'll wash my mouth again three times. And then it's the nose and the face. And then the hands up until the elbow. Same thing, right and left. And then once I'll rinse my hair. And once I'll move my fingers around the ears. Then finally I'm going to wash my feet. I'll start by opening the water tap. Wash my hands. And then it's the mouth.
currency for his people. So he said, please reduce the amount because the amount is very big. And God started to reduce the, the, the amount by five until he reached number five. Yeah. So it was uh, 50, 45, 40, 35, and until he reached five. And then Prophet Muhammad said, okay, I'm quite happy. I will go with five times. <laughs> how we end up playing by that. Right? More questions? Yeah. So what happens if you can't make it to um, Mecca <coughs> because it, it's a requirement for five uh -huh. yeah. for everyone? What happens if you can't go, you say? Yeah, if you right. can't afford to or whatever reason. Right. So for any reason, for any issues, if you were not able to go to Mecca and perform the Hajj, again, no problem. Right? What happens? It goes to your other generations. Uh -huh. So your children can do it, your grandchildren can do it on your behalf. And it is any time from their life. So they do it once in a lifetime and they can just intentionally say, I wish to do the pilgrimage on my behalf and on my grandfather's behalf. Mm -hmm. and Okay guys, so this was a visit to the Jumeria Mosque and it was a rather interesting explanation of um, the religion and basically the life in, in the United Arab Emirates. So I suggest if you are coming to Dubai, don't miss this opportunity. It only costs you 25 dirhams, which is uh, around 10 Australian dollars and that includes a uh, light refreshing breakfast a traditional um, a traditional Arabic coffee uh, some sweets and uh, dates which is quite nice here actually it's um, traditionally dates being eaten at breakfast time here and um, they taste very different what I have tasted before they're not so sweet and um, I believe they produce locally so it was rather delicious so guys if you're in the area I said just um, try to make time for it they um, they do two sessions a day except on Fridays and Saturdays because Fridays uh, they have you know holiday the uh, Sunday basically so they do it any other day 10 a.m. and then there's another session at 2 p.m. in the afternoon but at the moment that is suspended until 15th of September this year so there's only one session per day in the morning at 10 a.m. you need to turn up around 9 30 and then you will have uh, your registration you pay for uh, the ticket and then you have your refreshments and a light meal until uh, the, your guides comes and takes you inside the mosque and uh, have the presentation. So guys, this was very enjoyable. <coughs> so
so now I'm heading back to the hotel and I believe later on we are going out somewhere to the beach maybe or, or, or something like that this is my last day in Dubai tomorrow we are heading to another country very early in the morning so if I will see you guys I think uh, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, also hit the notification button as well so you will be notified if I'm uploading more videos so thanks guys